Good morning everybody, Kyle here in the Canova Workshop. This is going to be a quick follow-up video to the one I did uh, just recently about checking the spindle runout on my uh, Makita trim router for my CNC router table that's coming. Um, I had ordered a, a Lair Corp 3 quarter inch collet that came in just this week. It's the MRP 2500 quarter inch collet. I don't know if they put the KH on there because my initials or that's just who packaged it, but nice little touch if it is my initials on purpose. So I was hoping to have a, a really cool video showing how this collet would solve the uh, little bit of runout issue I had in the last one, but uh, that's not really the case. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the same collet. It's very nicely made. Really, uh, really impressed on how they made it. The only difference I found was the back side is about one thousandth less OD where the little collar is. Um, not going to go into detail of putting it in and checking it out because I had the exact same results. So, are the Lair Corp collets a good buy? Yes, yes they are. Uh, if you need a replacement collet, it's going to be a really good collet. It's going to give you great performance. Uh, if you need to replace your OEM collet that comes with uh, with the router. The real value comes in the fact that they offer different collet sizes. The Makita trim router only comes with a quarter inch collet. They offer eighth inch, they have metric collets, they offer them in sets. Um, if you want to venture out and use something other than a quarter inch shank bit on your CNC router table, then that's the way to go. So to summarize all this, there's really no replacement for having good technique and good practice with uh, putting your collets in bits in your router, spindle, whatever you're doing. Best thing, check, make sure there's no debris, no chips, no burrs, nothing inside the taper of your spindle. Same thing with your collet, make sure there's nothing inside. There's nothing jammed up in the little uh, reliefs that are cut so it clamps up when it, when it squeezes down on the taper. Make sure the taper is good. Check your bits, make sure there's no debris, no burrs, anything on your bits. And then uh, when you're tightening them up, Make sure that you grab a hold of it, and as you're snugging up that uh, that collet knot, just make sure you're wiggling it in all directions just to get that taper the, the best chance of seating properly against each other. Um, do that, you should really have no problems. All right, buddy, thanks for watching. Hope, uh, hope this was informational for you, and uh, look forward to seeing you again in the next video.